Hi everyone, this is Somia Jadhar Said. Welcome back to another video in my channel. Today's video is again a very highly requested video. This video will be a company review of Apple. In today's video, we will be discussing anything and everything there is to know about Apple. If you are someone who is interested to know about the work-life balance, the work culture, the tech stack, the teams, as well as wants to know the exact salary details and the ranges at SD1, SD2, and SD3 level. Then you have come to the right place. Yar, Apple ke baare mein cheeze nikalna, dhunna bohat hi muskil tha. It was really a pain. So to motivate me, go ahead and smash the like button. The like target for this video is 1.5 thousand likes. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe already. Kis ka intezar kar rahe ho? Now, without further ado, let's get started. Before starting, I would like to introduce to a brand new course from Cryo. So Cryo has come up with a master's program for QA. So if you are someone who wants to pursue your career in QA automation testing field, then this program can be the perfect fit for you. After this course, you will get a placement guarantee in around 5 to 20 lakhs per year package. The entire course is extremely well structured, interactive, as well as comes with a 100% placement guarantee. Apart from this, you can avail a 10% discount on this particular course by using my coupon code. I'll give you the link in the description below. Go there and check out the course for yourself. And you don't have to pay straight away. You will get a one week free trial where you can go through the course, the course material, understand what all things you will learn. And as you all know, Cryo is known for their project-oriented course where you learn by doing real life industry great projects. And this course is no different. So go ahead and check the course. Link is in the description below. So we will start things off with location. Apple in India is located in two major cities. Try and guess which two major cities I am talking about here. I'll give you three seconds. Go in the comment section and write down your guesses. Three, two, one. The answers are Hyderabad and Bangalore. I am absolutely certain that most of you would have guessed it Hyderabad and Bangalore anyways. However, yes, Apple has a bigger presence in Hyderabad than in Bangalore with respect to tech and tech related fields. Talking about whether or not Apple is a remote first company? The answer is no. Sadly, Apple is not a remote first company. At the moment, however, yes, due to pandemic, it is operating in complete work from home. However, once pandemic finishes, which we hope that it happens fast, you will be requested to report back to your base locations, which in this case will be Hyderabad or Bangalore. Talking about international relocations in Apple, yes, there are provisions with which you can get transferred to overseas offices, be it in Europe or USA. However, the number of such instances, so if you are someone who is looking to work in, let's say, USA for a matter, I would strongly suggest against applying or joining Apple at the moment. At this time, Apple is actively hiring as well as looking to expand. The following roles for which there are active job openings in Apple's career website are software engineering, data engineering, DevOps, solution architect, both in the engineering as well as the management track. Talking about the tech stack of Apple, uh, typically speaking from a backend perspective, generally the backend language that they prefer are Java, Scala or Python. For their relational database usage, they prefer Oracle DB. For NoSQL usage, they prefer MongoDB and Elasticsearch. For their big data needs, they use Hadoop, Spark, and Hive. For their cloud needs, they use AWS. And needless to say, you will be building some very highly distributed systems. Hence, you will be actively working on 
microservices and service oriented architecture now coming to benefits i would not say that apple has some industry leading benefits but they do have some decent benefits that they offer to their employees for example each and every year you will get around 250 dollars that you can spend on purchasing any apple product not only this for every year you get 125 percent discount as well as multiple 15 percent discount flat on the dealer price on any apple product that can also be combined with the above $250 cash to purchase it. Apart from it, you also get a very lucrative employee stock purchase plan under which you get 15% discount on the Apple stock to purchase in addition to whatever stock you get up to 10% of your base salary. You get gym and wellness reimbursements, you get internet reimbursements and free snacks. However, in Apple, you do not get free food for that matter. The following team has its presence in India. Uh, number one is ISNT, number two is ads, number three is Apple Maps, and number four is point of sale team. Out of these four teams, ISNT has the largest presence in India. However, very unfortunately, according to the internal employees that work in Apple India, they say that ISNT is not such a good team to join. The work-life balance, the work culture, the type of work, all three are quite bad in ISNT. So if you are contemplating to apply in Apple, then I would suggest that try to avoid ISNT in general as much as possible. There are few teams under the ISNT umbrella that are working on cutting edge projects, machine learning and AI, but from an overall view, the work culture and work-life balance is extremely questionable and bad in ISNT. Hiring at Apple is extremely decentralized in nature and it is very much team dependent. There is no standard bar per se. Hence, whenever you do decide to change teams, you need to mandatorily go through a complete loop every time. And since there is no standard per se into hiring practices, the number of rounds, the type of rounds, what all will be expected in these rounds also vary by a huge margin. Typically speaking, they do ask questions around DSA, system design, as well as computer fundamentals in their interviews. General level that has been observed in Apple interviews is that the level is typically lesser than that of its other counterparts that are present in the country and outside. From a level perspective, nothing more than Lee code medium is expected uh, in the DSA interviews. And generally speaking, the system design interviews at Apple are on the easier side. Increments at Apple are quite less. They vary between the range of 5% and at max 14% on a yearly basis. However, one very good thing about Apple is that they give out a huge number of stocks as performance tied incentive to you in the form of refreshers. So if you perform well, you tend to get a lot more stocks on a year to year basis. It will be around 30 to 40 percent of your new higher stock grant that will again vest for the next four years. So this is definitely a very good thing about Apple. Coming to compensation structure, compensation structure at Apple is fairly similar to any other company for that matter. They have the base salary, which is the salary that you get uh, on a monthly basis. They have the new higher stock grant, which is basically a stock grant that is given to you. Number of stocks is issued to you, which vests in the next four years. They have performance bonus, which is basically a percentage bonus on top of your base salary which you get on the basis of how you perform in one particular year and on top of it they have joining bonus but yes in the compensation calculation we will not be considering joining bonus for that matter because they are 
extremely random and there is no method to the madness here or uske sath sath you will also get refreshers which is basically again performance based additional stocks that is given every year the additional stocks will also be given you 25% each year for the next 4 years to abhi wo pal aa gaya hai jiska aap sab ko besabri se intezar tha we will be discussing about the exact salary details at sd1 sd2 and sd3 level so let's start with sd1 The years of experience required to get hired at SD1 level is less than three years of experience. The base salary range varies between fifteen point five lakhs per year to somewhere around twenty lakhs per year. The performance bonus varies between five percent to around ten percent, and the new higher stock grant varies between forty lakhs to sixty lakhs for. Four years. The yearly total compensation will vary between twenty six point five lakhs per year to around thirty three lakhs per year for SD one. Coming to the SD two role, the base salary varies between somewhere around twenty five lakhs to around thirty five lakhs per year. The performance bonus is again five to ten percent per year. On top of it, you get the new higher stock grant, which varies between sixty lakhs to around ninety lakhs for one year. So all in all, as an SD two, you can expect to earn somewhere between forty lakhs to around sixty lakhs as your yearly salary. The years of experience required to get hired at Apple as an SD two is anywhere more than three years of experience. Now coming to SD three, the years of experience required to get hired at SD three level is anywhere more than seven years of experience. The base salary range varies between forty lakhs per year to around sixty lakhs per year. The performance bonus varies between ten to twenty percent of uh, the particular base salary for one particular year. The new higher stock grant uh, is somewhere between eighty lakhs for the next four years to around one point six crores for the next four years. So all in all, as an SD three at Apple, you can expect to earn somewhere between sixty five lakhs per year to around one point one crore per year. Yes, you can see from this fact that the SD one salaries or salaries at lower level in Apple is quite competitive and maybe even more than your average company out there. However, as you progress inside or as you get higher at higher levels, the salary typically is lower than what you can expect at companies of this stature. in other companies all in all in the end i would say that definitely apple is a good company as a company it has immense brand value and as a company in your resume your resume will get all the boost that you can hope for however inside apple india because of a large presence of isnt org the work culture the work the type of work as well as work life balance is not good definitely you can consider apple as your company Uh, to apply as well as going to given the correct team and the correct work apart from this in apple you also do not get good opportunities to transfer abroad so i would definitely definitely say that keep all these things in mind whenever you make the decision that you want to i really hope that you like the video if you did then hit the like button the like target is 1.5000 likes subscribe to the channel if you have not already i don't know kis ka intezar kar rahe ho yaar as well as share this video as much as possible to in your friend circles among your peers so that people also know about apple as well as its opportunities that are present or do comment down below the next company review that you would want me to make i will happily make them as well as comment down below different other videos that you would want me to make this is somyajit bidding goodbye das vidanya